How's it going guys? So today we are doing some more river pike fishing. You guys love those videos. It seems like you give me lots of good feedback on those. Um, and I enjoy making them too. Unfortunately, the last couple times I've gone out, I've been struggling quite a bit. Um, just not catching many fish or the fish I catch have been pretty small. I'm thinking maybe more people have been fishing those areas of the river and these small rivers can only hold so much fishing pressure, which is why I try to keep my location and the names of the rivers out of my videos at all times. But that aside, hopefully today we're, we're gonna try a new spot and maybe that will pay off and hopefully get some bigger fish. So let's get out to the river, try some new spots, and see what happens. There we go. There we go. Finally, new stretch. My first pike on. I had one tiny one swipe at it and miss it earlier. And uh, this one finally came out and smacked it. I switched streamers, now I'm using the, whoa! Now I'm using the delivery man. It's a fly I tied up oh, a couple, like a month ago maybe for you guys. It's probably my favorite fly. It has some great action in the water. And uh, this pike sure loved it. That's sweet. Well, thanks for the action. Tell your friends to come out. There we go, oh my gosh, that pike's shot out of nowhere. I didn't even see him. I thought I could see the whole bottom in there, but I figured it looked too good to not throw a fly in there. And sure enough, the little hammer handle came out and smacked it. Nice, came out real easy. Oh my gosh, oh. no, no, come back please, big pike just grabbed my bait, I hooked him and he came off, oh he's turning on it, oh come on, no now I'm stuck on a branch, no way, please come back. Well, I think I lost my chance at that pike, unfortunately. Uh, he followed two different flies. The third fly I threw at him, he kind of ignored, and now he's not going after the same fly he initially bit. So that kind of sucks, but you know, whatever. I should have been paying attention and maybe I would have hooked that fish better, but oh well. Let's keep fishing. There we go, there we go. Man, I'm trying to get my strip set down, but it's really hard when these fish like surprise you so much. It's just instinctive to pull my rod back. I don't know how well I did that in that one, but at least I hooked them. These little pike have lots of energy, but they don't fight hard until you get them right up to shore, or right up to you, and then they splash everything. There we go, there we go. That's a nicer fish, that's a nicer fish. Nice. Finally, I hooked a nice fish and it's staying on. I shouldn't be saying that though because I'm gonna lose him. It's not a huge fish, but it's a good size, especially for what I've been getting lately. Nice, I, I casted and made a perfect cast between two like sticks that were hanging in the water, right between them both, and I uh, threw in there a couple strips and this pike shot out of nowhere and smacked it. So I don't want to fight these fish too hard in this warm water because, I mean, they're pretty lethargic already. And, um, I mean, it's not super warm water. It's probably in like the 70 degree range. But either way, uh, these fish, you know, if you fight them for too long, they get super tired and it's kind of hard to release them sometimes, which is not what I want because, you know, I'm more of a catch and release guy, especially in, in these small rivers. I don't think you should ever keep a pike in these small rivers just because, I mean, I've found areas where you've, I've caught the same pike over multiple years in the same hole. So I think these fish kind of stay in the same areas. And if you start keeping them all, eventually you're gonna catch a lot less pike because you know there's a lot less in the rivers, or at least in that section. There we go. That's a good fish, not a giant, but he's gonna definitely go like 29, maybe 30 inches. It's 
29 and a half inches, but real nice thick fish. Oh, and he's ready to go. So let's get him back in the water and hopefully catch his friends. Oh, see ya, dude. Swimming off. So here's a quick look at where I caught the last pike. Uh, it came off of some structure. This time of year, the water is super low and there's barely any current in throughout the whole river. And so I don't look so much for slower water because pretty much everything is slow. Um, but I look more for deeper areas and structure like this. Uh, you can see right here, there's some logs on either side. He was sitting like right there and there's some logs on this side and some logs in the front of him. So I think that those pike hang around shaded areas and those deeper areas with structure. They can blend in really well with those logs. They look just like a log when they're sitting on the bottom. And that way they can sit there, wait for bait fish to go over them or stream in this case and they can pop up and ambush them so just look for like structure shaded areas and also areas where it's a little bit deeper it's only like two foot deep right here but surrounding it is like one foot deep so it's a little bit of a deeper area um, I don't know just seems like that's kind of where this pike been hanging out today and so that's what I'm gonna keep looking for and hopefully find some more fish There we go, there we go. Wow, that pike shot out of nowhere. I've said that like probably every single pike I've caught today, but man, I was a decent sized fish. I was fishing, there's like a little hole that goes all along his bank. And lots of times I see pike hanging right underneath those roots you can kind of see there. And uh, I'm not sure where this pike came from because I didn't see him. He did a big flash and then my fly disappeared. But that's pretty cool. There we go, gotcha. So yeah, there is this fish. Nothing very big like I said, but it's a nice stocky fish. Good thick fish. I have been seeing a lot more bait fish around here, which is one reason there might be more uh, pike around here. I've seen a lot more bluegill and sunfish and little tiny suckers, and normally I don't see that in this river. So that's a pretty good sign. Got him, yes, oh my gosh. Guys, there's my big pike. Oh my gosh, oh my gosh. Wow, I saw that thing. He was, I almost walked right past him. I was so close to that pike. Man, he got something sticking out of his mouth too. Wow, is he gonna jump? Oh, that was sweet. Man, this fish is angry. He started off not fighting very hard and now he's pulling quite a bit harder. No, don't go, no, 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 stay away from there, stay away from there. I do not want him to get wrapped up in these logs. That is the last thing I want. It's probably around mid 30 inch or maybe 34, maybe 35 inch fish. Really thick though. I want to get this fish in and see what was on its lip. It would look like a giant like blackish blue, just like gunk kind of hanging off of its lip. I'm pretty sure it was attached to the fish, not like a fly or something that broke off in its mouth. It looks disgusting though. Got him, nice. That is a good sized pike, guys. Check it out. That's all of 35, maybe 36 inches. But check out its lip. That is disgusting. I have no idea what that is. I feel bad for it. I, obviously, it's not keeping him from eating. I mean, it's a good, healthy fish, but that can't be good for it. One more quick look at this fish before I let it go. Beautiful fish, it was 35 inches. Great looking fish. Let's get it right back in the water and uh, hopefully catch some more. Here she goes. See you, girl. Well, here's a little twist. I was just walking through the woods and I found a great horned owl. There's something wrong with it, as you can see. It's not, it's pretty scared of me right now. Uh, I was trying to fly and it can't fly. So I, I called a wildlife care center and they're gonna take it in for me if I can bring it to them. So hopefully I can carry him back to my car and uh, hopefully he cooperates enough and smart enough to not try to bite me. He's got some pretty mean claws. So I'm gonna try my best to safely carry him to my car and then meet up with some people to, you know, save him. Not gonna hurt you, not gonna hurt you. Please cooperate. Hey, it's gonna be okay. It's gonna be okay. Hey, 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 hey. No, come on, I'm trying to help you. No, don't go in the water. Hey. Hey. Okay. 
Here is the bird. I'm holding his claws. She told me to be super careful of his claws. You can see the talons that are right there. Pretty mean claws. They can do some damage for sure. So now I just have to hope this bird will let me carry it all the way back to my car and uh, then we can help it out. Well, I had to use my shirt to cover the owl so it stopped freaking out, but I managed to get to my car and I just dropped it off at the rehabilitation center. So hopefully the owl is able to recover and be released back into the wild, but I did all that I can do, so I'm pretty happy with that. Either way, I managed to catch a nice pike today as well as some good numbers. So overall, it was a pretty good day. I finally had a successful pike trip and I gotta save an owl. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. A little weird turn at the end there, but either way, thank you guys so much for watching and I'll catch you next time.